Here we are in Jaisalmer and uh, with uh, Mr. R. Velusami, President of Mahindra and Mahindra's automotive sector and who has just launched the new uh, XUV 7XO. Before we talk about the vehicle, let's ask him what are the two or three key focus areas now that he has taken over the, this new role of President Automotive Sector from 1st January. Thank you very much, uh, Saman. Um, yeah, uh, it's an exciting role and uh, our main job is to continue the growth. The growth has been phenomenal in 2025, as you have seen. The SUV industry has grown 7.7 and uh, we have grown at 18.4, but particularly the UV industry. Uh, how do we maintain the momentum that is given by the GST uh, reduction? Uh, how do we maintain that and what are the short-term interventions, what are the long-term interventions, all of them uh, we have to plan out and execute it. And one of them is this. So that's the primary job. How do you grow? Um, of course, uh, the customer experience is the most important thing. How do you safeguard the customer uh, that comes to our dealerships so that they are always happy? Is the number uh, equally number one priority when the growth and the customer experience? And, and third is how do you create value, value for money mm -hmm. and uh, value equation for each of our brand. Uh, we need to create the value equation. At the end of the day, uh, we need to make uh, the money and then reinvest into the products. Uh, how do we create that value for money? That the customer gets the value and we also get the margin. So that's right. the three top priorities for us. That's good to know. 18% is what you grew uh, last year, yes. right? Yeah. And uh, that's the run rate you would like to keep this year? 18.4 and over and above that we will add this year. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, coming to the x 7 xo uh, one of the, uh, I think five you had planned for this year, uh, five new offerings. Uh, this one, uh, this inter intervention. The 18.4 uh, has been the natural growth. Yeah. Uh, but it all depends on the uh, complete uh, macroeconomic conditions. Those factors the also, yes. But we expect, our vision and expectation is to continue that. Continue that, of course. So, uh, the uh, XCB 7XO now with this in intervention, uh, what kind of uh, no, um, uh, impact do you expect in the, on the market performance for Mahindra? So as you see, the top end, we have brought the technology, uh, first time in India for technologies, and world's first debut of the uh, Darwin's damper system. The right quality, it will redefine the benchmarks and standards. Uh, we think the top end will expand. The pool will expand. Already we have 80% of our customers are buying as the LC, AX series. The AX series, A7, uh, AX7 series. Okay. And now it will expand. Okay. Uh, we also have done, uh, as you have seen, uh, that we have brought the three screen uh, directly into the AX series and we have taken out the MX series. And the price of the AX series is same as the MX series right. with the three screens. And with the Dominici damper uh, and the suspension system, and you have an Alexa and you have a chat GPT and 8155 controller. I mean, look at the look at the value proposition for all. What else can you add now? <laughs> we have to now think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have a few more months and years to to think about it. And and uh, I wouldn't have imagined when we launched in September and in August 2021, mm -hmm. uh, the XUV7 double I I wouldn't have imagined about 7XO being in this other. Yeah, as we as we pick up the weeks and months, we will we will get to know what what we need. So, in terms of your, uh, uh, you said the market performance, you, know, you create value uh, for for the company, and then thereafter you kind of plow in that same, you know, uh, you, you are able to plow in more money into your product development and offer better products. So, what kind of market share are you looking at with in term incremental with the with these you, new? You have seen our growth, mm -hmm. and we have to get adequate market share from every brand of us to get to that number. Mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, honestly, with the definition that we have done, uh, I I wouldn't guess it, but it will be good. good. Right. And uh, when you launched the uh, XCV700 in 2021, August 20, that was the first model in this platform. And now it's been, what, uh, four years now. So uh, are you looking at any uh, further uh, kind of, no? Uh, is, is this platform good for another few? few years or so? So I, I think the uh, the suspension system has been revamped and um, the 
mechanical platform has reached a very luxury status level. Uh, one is the reliability of the uh, 300,000 cars that we have it in the field about the platform. Another is modernizing it. Uh, how much you modernize it as a five star safety rating. It has the best NVH. It has the best light weighting uh, technologies in this car. I think uh, it, it is a, the best luxury modernized platform I would, I would consider. Uh, we have dramatically changed the electrical and electronics architecture as we have explained. We have brought in the, uh, the uh, Ethernet uh, communication system. We have brought in the very high powerful 8155 computer uh, in our cockpit. Uh, that allows us the three screen, that allows us the ADAS visualization to be done, that allows us Dolby Atmos, uh, Dolby Vision, all of them it allows. Uh, it, it allows a 16 speaker uh, hormone cordon system. It's mind blowing, blowing the, the, the technology features that if you look at it, uh, I'm incredible. Can, can we expect another model maybe on the same platform? Another model, this model itself is selling in quite good numbers. Why do you create another model? I, I think. Right. And also in terms of, uh, you know, you talked about uh, you know, the, uh, the technology content and the smart chip, you know, smart. And uh, in, the, in the industry now also is also uh, kind of concerned about a kind of a challenge in terms of uh, memory chip supply. Uh, do, do you foresee that uh, challenge? So far, we haven't come across. Mm -hmm. There are anything in the coming weeks and months. We have addressed all the issues in the past. Mm -hmm. So we have not lost a single vehicle in the past, any crisis that came. Uh, our team will be able to solve that problem. And the EV adoption, uh, your 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 uh, um, uh, born EVs uh, have got up to a good start. Uh, what stage are they in in terms of the market response? They are doing really well, as yeah. you have seen. Uh, uh, both the numbers and both the uh, products are doing well, and uh, it's really great. And then we have launched the 9S, yes. and the response has been quite good. So we'll see the numbers in the coming months. And now there's also a thought process in the industry about, uh, no, there's at least some segments, uh, some uh, players are kind of contemplating the range extended, uh, range extender EVs. Is that something that uh, would be good to a have? Range extender, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm, I'm not fully conversant with that, how that will be helpful for the Indian customers. I'm, I'm not quite sure. About that. But all in all, uh, this year, what is the outlook for uh, the SUV market for you? No, the, for for the, the domestic. It's Bayern. Hmm. It's Bayern sick. Yes. And and therefore we are absolutely happy with the current uh, performance. You expect the uh, the strong growth rate to continue. We expect the strong growth rate to continue. The macroeconomic conditions, the customer footfalls to the uh, dealerships are quite good, and uh, we expect a normal monsoon. And subject to many other conditions, of course, the growth rate should be uh, should be pleasing. On that note. Well, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you.